Well, our old nemesis is back today. It's laundry day, and we're gonna be fighting laundry noise. Welcome back, everybody, to the world's worst fishing. I am Chris Jones, and as everyone is aware, it's football season. And for probably the last two years, um, I've, I've had many people uh, over that span of time suggest like sports team or football team colored lures and I've done that a little bit um, I poured some like uh, LA Lakers swim baits um, after Kobe and his daughter unfortunately passed away um, and I've just kind of tooled around with some uh, Florida State Seminoles kind of garnet and gold stuff but I've never really sat down and just tried to make football colors um, at least more than just one here or there at a time um, so it's football season. Today's actually a big day in football. Alabama plays Georgia tonight, I believe. So today is, I don't have my watch on. Today is October 17th. It's a beautiful Saturday here in Tallahassee. I should be fishing, but I'm not, so I'm filming. And uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I think I'm gonna start with a few SEC teams, then we'll move into the ACC and see where we can go from there. Um, there's some really cool color patterns uh, in, that I have in mind. And uh, obviously we can't do every team, at least not in one video, but um, let's go ahead and start with, let's start with LSU. Okay, so I have my uh, dead on plastic swim bait blend here. <clears throat> we have an awesome mold uh, for laminates because you know most of these college teams are really only two colors. I mean, if you think about the Gators, orange and blue, Seminoles, uh, garnet and gold, um, Auburn, sort of a navy blue and orange, um, Alabama, white and uh, crimson red, um, LSU purple and yellow so basically we're gonna be doing a lot of laminates but I don't just want to put just the two colors together right and just do purple and yellow we want to actually make it look like a real bait so I've got some purple pigment here from Lureworks I also have some of their purple pearl powder to give it sort of a uh, pearly effect I've got some black grape which is essentially purple flake on the yellow side I'm gonna blend some yellow and uh, excuse me gold pearl powder but then we're gonna flake it out with a little bit of gold flake and then maybe some tiny black flake and try to make a real color out of it not just the two colors of the team um, but we're actually gonna try to make these look like real baits so we're gonna cook up this plastic and we'll be right back yeah I'm liking this a pretty straightforward yellow and a pretty straightforward um, uh, purple yeah okay we can definitely do this and of course huge shout out to our title sponsors dead on plastic and angling ai molds those are the two um those are the two products that we're going to be using at least right now for the lsu baits couldn't do it without you guys check out dead on plastics if you want to get into this hobby i think it's the best plastisol on the market and then of course angling ai molds you know both of these companies have been supporting me for a long time and have uh, really helped the channel grow and uh, I believe they're the finest products in the business, and we're gonna show you some of that now. Okay, everybody, so we have our plastic measured out, and uh, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the laundry is running, so there might be some background hum and some background noise. <clears throat> so for that, I do apologize. But we're just gonna start off with some of that Lure Works purple, and we're gonna add some of this purple pearl. Give it a nice pearly effect. And let's see where that takes us. Should be looking really good. Yeah. Well, that's LSU all day. It just needs to be thicker because that's still pretty see-through. If we look at it on the knife, you can basically see right through it. All right, so I'm actually gonna darken up this purple with a little bit of black grape, which is a dark shade of purple. Hence the name Black Grape. Yeah, see how that just kind of slightly darkened, darkened things up. Now for the yellow side. <coughs> Come on, yellow. You can do it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Jeez, are we out of this yellow? Might have to get a different yellow. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Might be... Might be running low on that yellow. But let's stir it in anyway. <clears throat> oh yeah. 
like I said, we're gonna add a little bit of gold to it. Gold pearl powder. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I wish powders stirred in. <coughs> I got like dry throat today. Okay, we have little black flake and little gold flake and then that purple flake. That's what we're gonna go with. All right, everybody, we have our dual injector here and hopefully the laundry noise isn't too loud. Uh, this directional microphone is gonna pick up the noise. Once I stop talking, it's gonna focus on that. So bear with me, but we're gonna stir up our plastic and try to get three molds here. Gotta switch the sides. Huh. Okay, let's see how our LSU Tigers punch bugs came out. Quick little drum roll there. And let's see what happened. Hey, hey. Look at that. Yep, that is some LSU LSU baits right there. Why can't I get these arranged in my hand properly? Jeez. Struggling today. Yeah. Look at that. What do y'all think? That is pretty darn close. And like I said, that kind of looks like a real color that you would actually want to fish with. It's not just purple and yellow just by itself, it's got a little bit of character. It looks a little, it looks somewhat natural too. Like that's this is naturally not a bad color. So yeah, let's get out the other ones. Okay, and there are both of those right there. Our LSU punch crawls, punch bugs. But look at these ecto crawls. Look at the way that it blended those LSU colors here. Look at this. And you see the laminate went right down the middle. But I love the way that it blends the color in the claws. They especially look just awesome from that side. So yeah, there it is. Any LSU fans out there, hope, hopefully y'all approve of that right there. LSU baits, pretty awesome. On to the next ones. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the Georgia Bulldogs. Let's pull out their logo real quick for the three people who have never seen it. Uh, let's see, here we go. All right, so we're gonna go with red and black. And I must love the Georgia Bulldogs because they are getting the core shot stick worm. And for those of you who might not know what that is, it's basically an effect where the center of the bait is a different color than the outer shell. So we're gonna do a very light red, basically see-through red shell with a red flake and then a black core through the middle. I think it's gonna look really awesome. Okay, so here we have our dead-on plastics um, black bucket swim bait blend. And we're just going to add just a few drops of this non-bleed red. This is from the MF Manufacturing Company. And I mean just a few, like two. Because we want these shells to be see-through, but we also want you to know that it's kind of supposed to be red, okay? So yeah, as you can see, just a little hint of red. All right, but now here comes the fun part. We're gonna add some red flake. All righty. And this is our shell plastic. And you'll see what I mean by that once we actually inject the mold here in just a second. Okay, we only need a single injector for these. 
So here we go. And we're basically injecting the shell color of the worm right now. Nice and slow, hold some pressure. Oh, bump the camera, my bad people. And same on this side. Okay, and there's what I mean by shells. You can see that our clear with red went around these rods. And then we just slide the shell off the rod and bingo. That is the exterior of our worm. And then there's gonna be a black core within that. So I basically just set those back in, close the mold, and we're ready for our black. All right, core time. Holding some pressure. We want to make sure all the cores fill, if possible. Most of the time they do. Now this mold here on the left, not all of the shells filled. So we're going to have a few cavities just come out straight black but hopefully the cores filled on the, um, on the shells that, that did come out. So hopefully these will look kind of neat. Okay, let's see how our Georgia Bulldogs core shot worms came out. Oh my gosh, look at that. Red and black, look at it. Nah. <laughs> Yep, that's Georgia Bulldogs right there. I mean, those, the, luckily that red flake pretty much already is the exact shade that we want. And we have a few from the other mold. Look at that. There you go. Go dogs. Athens, Athens is a beautiful town. I love North Georgia. Next up, my hometown team, Florida State Seminoles, obviously Everyone's familiar with the garnet and gold. However, I like the original logo, not the new constipated looking guy with this, yeah, just terrible. Um, and this one is a little bit darker shade. So um, I just think it's a lot more classy, so we're gonna try that one. Yeah, so here's a little taste of it right there. That is Lureworks red pearl powder, Lureworks gold pearl powder, and black flake. I didn't need to change either one of these, and I think that is Seminoles all day long. Okay, here we go. Florida State Garnet and Gold Frogs. This is actually my custom uh, frog mold that I call the Florida Frog. So when I was thinking of a color for Florida State, I was like, the Florida State Florida Frogs. Be perfect, right? because screw the gators, which I guess we'll have to do gator colors next, right? All right, being that this is the Florida State Seminoles and they have the best marching band, probably in college football, definitely one of the best drum lines, we're gonna play a short snippet from their come on and go cadence. see how we did hey, hey zoom in a little bit let's get them out where we can see both sides yes there it is garnet and gold Florida frogs for the Florida State Seminoles look at that heck yeah the uh, FSU bass fishing team needs to be needs to be throwing those Okay, and there are all eight our garnet and gold Florida State Seminole Frogs. Now I guess we're going to go to their arch rival on down in Gainesville, Florida. Here come the Gators. Okay, the ugliest two colors in the color spectrum when added together, orange and blue. Here we go. It's Lureworks Thalo Blue and some dead-on plastic. They also have their own colors for anyone who's completely new to plastics we're gonna use their orange all right yeah already already looks terrible right orange and blue okay -do. there's our blue pretty by itself that's all I can say it's 
pretty by itself. So is orange, kind of. However, we're gonna, these are actually gonna look really good, I think. We're gonna make these in some tubes. And once we cut the tails and you see the two colors um, coming together, I think it will actually be pleasantly nice. So we're gonna add some orange glitter to the blue side. So each side, that's like totally Auburn right there. Um, so each side is gonna have orange and blue sort of in both sides, okay? So the blue's gonna have orange flake. I might add a little bit more there, but you can kind of see it. And then the orange is gonna have blue flake. So they're each gonna kind of be like an inverse of one another. Okay, here go a few orange and blue tubes. Well, it's certainly not my favorite colors, but hey, at least it's not Miami Hurricanes. Okay, so funny story here. These wound up looking way more like Auburn colors. I guess I used too dark of a blue and also the orange is a little too dark. So, which, which you know, as a Seminoles fan growing up in Tallahassee, I'm actually okay with that. I was trying to make trashy gator colors and wound up with much more classy Auburn colors. So that right there, I mean, really is an unintentional success. But uh, no, seriously, that's way off the mark for Gator colors and pretty much spot on for Auburn. So I guess we're gonna call that one a screw up that actually turned out to be Auburn. So there you go for anyone who uh, likes the Auburn Tigers. And I took the leftover plastic I had and ran some more of the uh, crawls here. As you can see, the blue, the dark blue, kind of dominates on these. So those definitely look more Auburn than anything else. But, uh, you know, the, the tubes, you know, the, the tail section has, um, you know, I guess vibes of gator. But I think overall, the color profile basically turned into Auburn. So uh, we're going to call this one Auburn and move on. Okay, and for our final trick today, <laughs> we're going to be using the Angling AI Molds Bloodline Swim Bait. It's a, it's a complete injection system. We made the eyes and these matching center lines, okay? That's just gold uh, flake and plastic. But we're going to make some swim baits going all the way out to the Pac-12, Oregon duck colors, okay? So we have sort of that green and yellow gold which I think is gonna look really nice in a swim bait. So that's why we have, we'll, uh, we'll look closely here. That's why we have gold flake in the lines and matching eyes. So we're basically gonna do sort of a green top faded into a light gold belly. And uh, these should be some Oregon Ducks football five inch swim baits, here we go. All right, so for that green side, we're gonna add some emerald green Okay, and some regular watermelon. And that always turns into a gorgeous shade of green. The watermelon kind of cuts some of the blue hint uh, that the um, emerald green kind of naturally has. Yeah, that's looking, that's looking awesome. And then the bottom, we keep going back to this gold pearl. I've uh, learned today that a lot of a lot of gold in college teams. And then we're actually going to add some really bright yellow to that that I need to go get. It's still on the shelf. But we're going to make this a lot more bright because I think the yellow in the Oregon color, um, even though I'm using kind of a gold pearl base, it's much brighter than that. So stand by. All right, that's actually looking really good. Check that out. That is Oregon Ducks right there. Okay, here we go. Once again, sorry about any background laundry noise, but I have to have clothes to wear or else I'd be out here without clothes and I would probably lose all of my viewers.
Okay, let's see how the Oregon Ducks swim baits did. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna come off on top. Ooh, look at that. Let's uh, get them out. So my apologies, I did not do a good job on this laminate. The kind of gold belly um, did not did not come through all the way. It's supposed to look more like that. I had a lot of bleed over on the uh, from the green top, but I still like those and. I actually really like the colors that I got out of it. Just the overall color profile to me uh, looks a lot like looks a lot like the target colors. I just did a bad laminate, so I guess I had my temperatures a little hot. I didn't think so, but uh, that's what I get for not paying closer attention. But let's look at the other mold. Okay, so that second mold definitely turned out better. Look at that. Yeah. That is, that is definitely Oregon Ducks right there. So let's get them out. Is this not just the coolest mold? I mean, golly, if you want awesome injection swim bait patterns, this mold just kind of allows you to do it all. Yeah, really something. Let's get the other ones with it. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Matching bloodlines and eyes. Absolutely stunners. Okay, and here's a snapshot of everything. Boy, those crawls look good. Orange and blue is actually kind of true to some crawfish colors. There's the Florida State Florida Frogs. God, the LSU crawls and bugs. Just look at that. Drink it in, LSU fans, because those are hot. And uh, man, the Georgia Bulldog worms, the duck swim, Oregon duck swim baits. There's the Auburn tubes. Oh, out of focus. Man. Well, I hope y'all have enjoyed. Um, that was a lot of work to just to do these five teams. And let's see, there's what, 500 more to go. But uh, no, seriously, um, you know, if I didn't get to your team, which you know, there's a good chance I didn't. Uh, my apologies, can only do so much in a day, but uh, if you want to see more videos like these, um, leave me comments down below, you know, what maybe like the five most requested teams, I'll do some baits on those colors. Um, so, you know, I, I wanted to do Clemson, uh, I just didn't get around to it, um, and then there were a couple others, I wanted to do Michigan, um, so, you know, we'll get to it eventually, I guess, but if you want to see more sport team videos, obviously I want to do some NFL colors as well. Um, <clears throat> hey, I'll be your, I'll, I, I will be y'all's guinea pig. So just let me know in the comments below. Okay, everybody, that's going to wrap this video up. Um, wow, that was a lot of work, but a lot of fun. Um, sorry to the Gator fans, even though I'm kind of not sorry. You know, I, uh, I actually was going for Gators, but I wound up getting Auburn better than I think I could again. Um, so that actually kind of turned out well. Um, I, I need a brighter shade of blue that's not so dark, and then I'm pretty sure I could get gators. And uh, I think um, I think Alabama just kind of being, you know, that maroon or crimson, I guess is the right word, and then white. Um, boy, that would look good and like a creature bait. Mm, yeah, there's definitely a lot more that I want to do with the whole sports team theme. Um, <clears throat> so if somebody doesn't copy me first and, and beat me to it all, but um, Hopefully, uh, hopefully we will get there. There's lots of content uh, on my filming schedule. Um, I kind of threw this one in last minute uh, because so many people had requested it. Um, coming soon is a mold review video where we're gonna take um, different types of molds uh, made from different types of materials, a few of which have never been on this channel. And we're just gonna kind of do a complete mold review um, and uh, different price points, different materials to see what's going to work best for you. So stay tuned, everybody. Lots of great content coming up, and we'll catch you next time.